Hi, I'm Tony Lagosh. I'm a Slingshot Chief Kite Designer. I'm from Hood River, Oregon, right on the Columbia River. It's in the national scenic area of the Columbia River Gorge. It's a beautiful place. We have a lot of uh, different things to do there. We also get a lot of wind because of the pressure difference between the ocean and the desert. So it makes uh, a great place for testing kite because it's uh, very windy, very gusty. So it pretty much brings out all the bad habits of most kites really quickly. Kite design just pretty much by chance. Uh, when we started Slingshot, there just wasn't any kite designers, so I ended up just, just trying it. You know, as the years went by and the kite progressed, just kept learning with the sport, and uh, luckily I had enough tools from my background of building composite windsurfing boards, surfboards, working with sail. My girlfriend at the time was a really good seamstress, so I had some sewing knowledge. So it all kind of came together when kiting started, so I had enough, you know, a few tools to actually let me be a kite designer. At that point, you know, the kite flew and it was a, it was a pretty much big accomplishment. First thing I do designing a kite would be pretty much focus on what the kite's going to be designed for and what rider it's going to be designed for. And luckily we have enough information over the years of testing kites. I mean, we've made hundreds and hundreds of kites. So, you know, basically the recipe, you can be like, all right, we want deep power, we want low end torque, we want, you know, stability. So we'll build the frame and uh, build the profiles to it, make our first pro prototype. Basically, it'll be a pretty basic kite. I'll send those files to our factory in China and she would, you know, put the kite together for me, send it back, it'll arrive at my doorstep usually within a week and we'll be flying it. And then we go into a second mode and we call it hack tech. Once we get the kite, we start flying it, we see problems, bugs, whatever, we usually take it, start cutting it, start sewing it, you know, change the leech tension control. If we have any flutter, we see, we basically kind of take it through a whole new design side after we have it, we start cutting it, reworking it until it just pretty much ends up in the garbage and we get all that information and then if we have the right information if we're happy where we're going we'll make another one with those mods and it just starts the process. Once we get the airframe configured that we really like and the kite's flying really well then it becomes the magic comes especially with the new kites that are bridled all the magic comes with tuning the bridles so it's really important for us to spend a lot of time on the on the bridles as far as how the kite's gonna feel in the rider's hands, how the depower is gonna be, how the relaunch is gonna be. So all these things really come down to the bridle at the end because that's the, the input to the kite. That's where most of the time is spent once we get a frame that we're really happy with. And when you're designing, you have so many different prototypes that you, you, you find a kite and you say, oh, this kite fits this category. Um, they all have huge overlaps, so you might be building a fuel prototype that has a different profile that generated a lot of grunt and won't sit far enough forward in the window. That profile might apply in a T3, you know, in design work. One of my favorite sides of kite design is uh, actually the build, um, how the kite goes together, what kind of stitching we use, um, where we use the reinforcement. My favorite side as far as kiting is actually in the surf. I like to ride in the surf. So I like the kites to actually be built so they can take, you know, the impact of waves and not end up in two pieces. Slingshot kind of prides itself of having the best, most durable kites on the market. So uh, we work really hard on that and we use the best materials and uh, we try to put them in the right spot. So this year in, uh, for Slingshot, we have basically three kites in the line. We have the T3, we have the rev and the fuel. As far as the designer, we have to really break down the category and make sure that each kite fits that rider's style and need. And there's, there's huge overlap on the kite. For the T3, the kite was designed for having a lot of low end power and heavy grunt and then a lot of range in the kite. Then you get into the rev, which is a really fast kite. It flies. Um, I would say it, you want to fly it on the pipe, meaning 
you know, keeping the revs up. That's why we call it the rev. If the kite has some airspeed, it generates really good power. It actually generates really good low end with, with some kite movement and um, kite speed. Once it kites up to speed, you can just park it and uh, it's good for pop and drop maneuvers, you know, freestyle. It also has explosive um, hang time. Well, at Slingshot, we're always working on rider simplicity, what we call it. I came up with one pump, of course, it came up because, you know, pumping kites is a bitch. So, when you pump up a hundred of them a day, it really becomes a factor. <laughs> so, I came up with the process was like, this, there has to be a better way. And the system's been on the kites now for uh, four years. We haven't had any problems. Um, it's a become an industry standard and uh, we're really happy with that. Having a personal favorite kite in my uh, line of work is pretty tough. But if I had to say, at first it was Octanes. I, I loved Octanes, it was kind of my, my baby and uh, it, it, it suited my riding style a lot. I like kites that uh, are really efficient and they're fast and they they're, uh, they work on apparent wind. So when I finished the 208 octane line and it got axed, my focus on the rev was very octane based in uh, my overall way I wanted the kite to fly. So taking all that information and putting it into the rev is kind of what I did. So the kite, the rev actually has a lot of octane DNA in it. So, you Octane lovers out there, I think you're gonna love the rev. And so now it's my, my favorite kite as far as a personal favorite. Um, it's, a, it's just a great kite because it flies with good air speed. You can fly it with apparent wind. It has great lift, great pop. Um, the relaunch on it is fantastic. It's a great step forward for the kite technology. For more information on our kite, go to slingshotsports.com.